Hi there, I'm Sarah from sarahkbrandis.com, small business marketing made simple for life coaches and authors. This is episode 15 of Solopreneurship Made Simple. And today I'm going to answer um, a really common question that I get from my life coaches who are my clients that come to me for marketing help. And um, it's, I think it's a really common misconception that you don't want to put yourself too close to your competition. I'm going to give you very conflicting advice on that today. So um, a lot of new coaches that start out are obviously overexcited and terrified in equal measure. They've just built their website and put it up there. And of course, because it's a brand new website, they're not yet, um, they've not gained those criteria that Google want for you to rank on, on the search engine. So they come to me saying, oh, I've, you know, I've launched my website. No one can find it. You know, I don't come up in any Google searches. What do I do? Do I invest in an SEO specialist to help me rank? Do I go and spend a lot of money on Google ads to make sure that I compete? And so first of all, let me tell you that Life Coach, uh, Life Coach London, Life Coach UK, um, these are really popular search terms on Google. Um, there are a lot of us in London and a lot of us in you know busy, stressful lives, whether it's a corporate career or whether we're trying to launch our own business, a lot of us are looking for life coaches. Also, there are quite a high concentration of life coaches in London. So it's a competitive keyword and it will cost you quite a bit more than you expect to bid on that keyword for your own Google ads. So if you were wanting to pay to you know use Google advertising to get yourself in one of the top life coaching spots on Google search results for you to get clients that way you would need quite a healthy budget behind you and I know that for most of us just starting out we don't have the money to invest or you know we don't want to take that risk and fair enough because it's a big risk to take and of course if you're going to go the SEO or organic route then you've got to have time and money to put into that as well so the very best tip that I can give a new life coach starting out who hasn't got budget to go and advertise is if you can't beat them join them so what I mean by that is get yourself on the life coach directory and um, now that where to find them it's lifecoach-directory.org.uk so for any UK based life coach it's really it's really not a big fee to go and um, put yourself on their directory they'll, they'll check you out they want to make sure that you've taken an accredited course so it's great for the clients because they know that every coach they find on there is is absolutely going to be a well-trained life coach um, but if, if this is you, if you've done your life coaching diploma and you're like, I'm a good coach, I'm trained, I know what I'm doing, I want to start helping people, go and get yourself on that directory because it's um, like the SEO and the Google ads are kind of done for you. I mean, not for you specifically, but the life coach directory comes up very high for certain keyword combinations. So I tested it just now. I typed in find a life coach in London and Life Coach Directory's website, their homepage, came up uh, number three, which is the, the the bottom ad. So they're paying for advertising there, but it's still at the top of my page, although it's the bottom ad, um, and it's only coming secondary to two life coaches who I know are spending a lot of money on Google advertising. So they've got the budget behind them to do the big marketing stuff. But for small marketing, for a very small business, like a solopreneur, like you guys, the life coaches, this is a great way to get found because people are searching for life coaches in London. If they go to the life coach directory, they've then got the option to go and search for, you know, which life coach do I want? So this is where um, having a defined niche comes in. And I know I've spoken about this before, but it's so crucial to your marketing. Have something that sets you apart from the other coaches on there, because I know this is a common fear and you're probably having this fear. Who's gonna pick me when there are hundreds of other coaches on the life coach directory? Well, the person who's going to pick you is the person who's most aligned with your message. So, you know, define your niche, explain it in a way that answers the pain points of your typical client. So, you know, don't just say, I'm a stress coach, I deal with stress, but give some context when you're writing your copy for your profile on the life coach directory. And this goes for your website and your social media and everything that you do, give some context. So rather than just saying, I'm a stress coach, I deal with stress, say, I help women in their fifties who've reached a certain point of stress where they can go no further. And, you know, identify those common problems that people will be able to 
resonate with and say, oh yeah, that's me, I feel that. So, you know, sleeplessness, um, unable to unwind on the weekend, you know, whatever it is, I mean, it will be very specific to you, but this is where defining your niche and really getting your brand message down is so important. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go off on a tangent about branding and copywriting today. The thing I wanted to say today is, um, yeah, if you can't beat them, join them. Because I know from personal experience and from, you know, years and years of doing this, that getting a really good position on Google search results by yourself, whether that's via the SEO method or whether that's by the Google paid ads method, whichever way you come at it, it's hard work and it'll either take time or money or a combination of the two and when you're new you're stretched in 50 di 57 different ways you know you've got all these different tasks to be doing to get your business up and running you haven't got time and you haven't got much money spare so you need a hack and the hack here is to get on the directory because they've already got google results positioning covered you're much more likely to be find there and uh, to be found there and honestly um the vast majority of my clients who are coaches say that getting on the life coach directory was one of the best moves they ever made and a fair a fair amount of their good clients who are repeat clients who come back found them there and it stands to reason because you know if someone found you through a facebook ad or a facebook post or an instagram post you know they they might have been the right, you know, the ideal coaching client and they might have gone on a, a six month journey of self-discovery with you or they may just come to one session because they found you while they were in crisis mode. But, you know, after a while they were like, I don't need coaching. If somebody finds you on the life coach directory, it's because they were actively looking for a life coach. They were ready to make a change. So think about the quality of customer that you're going to get from there as well. It's really worth your while. So that's the tip I wanted to share with you today. I hope that was helpful and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.